Recent episodes have seen Mackenzie determined to return home from hospital following her heart attack, to the point where she chose to discharge herself against medical advice. Was constantly on edge on the ward, nervously watching her vital signs monitor with the call button in hand just in case something went wrong again. Former paramedic Xander tried to assure Mac that it was normal to be scared, but when he told her that following his own surgery he didn't manage to relax until he got home, it put the idea into Mac's head that the farmhouse was where she needed to be. Cardiac surgeon Levi was dead set against Mac's plan to discharge herself, pointing out that she hadn't even started her rehab yet, but ultimately he had no power to stop her. Levi took Xander to one side and lambasted him for giving Mac the idea, albeit unintentionally and told him that he would be solely responsible should anything happen to her. Being home didn't bring the miracle cure to Mac's anxiety as she'd hoped however, and she was soon breaking down in front of housemate Tane wondering whether she'd spend the rest of her life waiting for it to happen again. Mac's mind wasn't eased when she searched the net and found that one in five people who've suffered from SCAD, spontaneous coronary artery dissection, would have a recurrence. As the week came to a close, it looked as though Mac would be adding to that statistic, as she clutched her chest and asked Tane to call her an ambulance before collapsing to the floor. As the ambulance arrives at the farmhouse next week, paramedic Wiley checks over Mac and assures her that everything is satisfactory. It looks as though Mac was simply having a panic attack. Given her recent history, Wiley suggests Mac goes back to the hospital for some blood tests but Mac assures the Ambos that she's fine and that she'll go to the Ed if her symptoms return. Feeling that she overreacted, Mac goes for a lie down. Talks with Molly, Kyle Schilling, and they both agree that Mac would be better off in hospital, but know that they can't force her. Maybe Xander could talk some sense into her? Checked on Mac, who appears to be fast asleep, Molly tells Xander what's happened and how worried he is about her. Xander goes in to talk to Mac but on struggling to wake her, is alarmed to find that she's unconscious. Xander immediately starts chest compressions as Molly calls for another ambulance. Xander accompanies the paramedics as Mac is wheeled back into the care of Brie and Dana at the hospital, where she's found to have a weak, tachycardic heart rhythm. Levi had been about to head back to the city now that his work in Yabby Creek was done, but he's seething as he forcefully pushes Xander out of the way in order to see to Mac. This is exactly why she should have stayed in hospital. He barks at Xander. Initial observations lead Levi to believe that Mac could be suffering from a blood clot, as he continues to have a go at Xander for enabling her discharge. When the CT scans confirm Levi's suspicions, he's forced to take Mac back into surgery for a second time to save her life. Xander and Molly are both full of guilt as they join Tane in a vigil at the hospital awaiting news on Mac. Is she strong enough to pull through? 